Our future starts now with you. It's Friday, the 17th of July, 2020. Hello and welcome to Join News at 6 with me, Maxwell Agbaba. 695 new cases of COVID case counts of 26,125 and 139 deaths. COVID is real. We'll be burying five at a go. We're going to bury more. We only want to elect the public. The COVID is real and therefore protect yourself. Observe the national protocol measures to protect yourself, protect your family. The news is live from digital address GA0993341, available in Accra on Joy 99.7 and Hits 103.9 FM. And in Kumasi, on Love 99.5 FM. Affiliates across Ghana's 16 regions, including ATL FM in the Central Region, Fafa Radio in the Volta Region, Golu 91.7 in the Upper West Region, Kesma FM in the Northern Region, and Radio Fubizi in the Upper East Region. Around the world, it is at joyonline.com. Coming up, NDC flag bearer John Dramani Mahama fights off claims his choice of running mate was largely influenced by a desire to select a woman. We're not uh, choosing her just because she's a woman. Um, she has the kind of credentials uh, that make her worthy of the nomination. Also coming up, Foreign Affairs Ministry serves notice it will consider phasing out birth certificate as requirement for acquisition of passport following Supreme Court decision on the document as proof of identification. And in business, Finance Minister Ken Oforiata hints of an unemployment benefit program as lots of workers get redundant and miss COVID-19. Details in 15 minutes. And later in the bulletin, an advice from the clergy to the young politicians. Just because of elections, people insult other people's character and personalities. Small boys and girls insulting others who are far older than them. This is a shame and a demon that must be exercised. We hear from a member of the Christian Council's 21-member eminent persons group outdoored yesterday to help ensure peaceful 2020 elections. This is your election headquarters. Let's start from the camp of the NDC. NDC flag bearer John Mohammed's choice of running mate has been hailed by some as a masterstroke that would win votes for the opposition party from gender advocates. Mr. Mahama has been given details on what endeared him to settle on Professor Nana Jane Opoku Ajiman. Speaking during a visit to the founder of the party, Jerry John Rollins, Mr. Mahama said his running mate is competent and that is what decided in her selection. Choosing her just because she's a woman, um, she has the kind of credentials uh, that make her worthy of the nomination. Uh, she's been a lecturer in the University of Cape Coast for so many years, and um, she came out as the first v- female vice chancellor of a public university in Ghana. There's a lot that she's done to be worthy of uh, being nominated, and I want to thank you for the collaboration we shared in coming to that decision. John Mahama is NDC flag bearer. Winston Amwa is deputy head of our political desk. He joins us with more. Winston, we know the founder of the NDC issued a statement yesterday. What exactly did he say about the running mate? So, Maxwell, the statement issued by the office captures Mr. Rollins saying that after he was informed that Professor Nana Jane had uh, the endorsement of party members, he, Mr. Rollins, was left with no choice but to endorse. And he says that if this was the case, then there was no reason to stand against it, even though I had a few others in mind. Thank you very much, Winston Amwa, his deputy head of our political desk. But Mr. Rollins says Professor Opoku Ajiman's integrity makes her stand tall. It's your integrity that earned you this position to be chosen as a running mate. And I think it's important that you do everything possible to hold on to that integrity. It wasn't the size of any gun or the size of your account that made this possible. I think it's also equally important that you, you're you coming through the, the right door and not through the wrong door. Jerry John Rollins there. Yesterday, Professor Jinnan Opukwajman herself met with NDC women organizers and the Minority Women's Caucus where she urged some headquarters who were present not to allow anyone to disrespect them. I have called you not because I don't like the others. I want you to know that you have proper names. Your name is not Kayeni. You have proper names. You 
you deserve the respect like everybody else. Don't allow anyone to disrespect you. That's all I want you to say. Without you, our society will not be what it is. Believe that whatever you are doing in whatever category is as important as at any level. Be confident in yourself. If you didn't get there, make sure your children do. Well, now let's bring you an update on the Electoral Commission's registration of voters. Um, Joseph Akable is here with some updates from the Electoral Commission. Joseph, what update do you have for us today? And so the EC has issued a statement once again, this time around, uh, responding to the concerns that have been raised. Uh, they maintain that there was a cap that was making rounds. It says our attention has been drawn to an article making rounds on social media seeking to cast doubts about the existence of the facial recognition feature as part of the exercise. It states that it is obvious that the writer has a lack of understanding of technology. We wish to assure the general public that as part of the voters' registration exercise, the commission is capturing both the fingerprints and faces of applicants as such applicants will be verified using their fingerprints and or faces so this is the release coming from the ec's office this morning okay thank you very much joseph akable with that update from the electoral commission to other stories the national democratic congress has dismissed an interpol red notice issued for the arrest of adam mahama brother of former president john mahama as part of a grand plan to run down the ndc flag bearer Adam Mahama and three others were wanted by the special prosecutor and now face arrest and possible extradition to Ghana, wherever in the world they are arrested in the matter of the Airbus bribery scandal. He's facing a charge of accepting bribe to influence a public officer and acting in collaboration with a public officer for the public officer's private profit. Speaking to Joy News National Communications Officer of the NDC, Sami Jemfi stated the Airbus scandal will amount to nothing. If you read the judgment very well, you don't find any finding or any fact in any of the approved judgments that says that John Mahama or any Ghana government official took bribes in the Airbus transaction or benefited from the Airbus transaction. This is a man who remains squeaky clean almost four years after leaving office. Despite all the frivolous allegations, the MPP has peddled against him. National Communications Office of the NDC, Sami Jemfi. The Foreign Affairs Ministry says it is considering the Ghana card as requirement for the acquisition of passports. This follows a Supreme Court ruling rejecting bear certificate as proof of identification. The APS Court, in a unanimous decision on June 25, dismissed the key relief sought by the NDC and private citizen Mark Tichi Benson. Deputy Foreign Affairs Minister Habib Tijani explained the birth certificate has now become one of the defective source documents improving one's citizenship. It is anticipated that within this short period, every Ghanaian will have a Ghana card. And we are working towards linking the Ghana card to passport acquisition. For the ministry, we would very soon be relying on the Ghana card for processing of passports. Does this mean that the ministry would be facing out birth certificate as a source document for passport? At the appropriate time, we will do that because we would be hooked to the Ghana card. Deputy Foreign Affairs Minister Habib Tijani. The clergy is calling on young politicians to desist from insults driven politics ahead of the 2020 election. Speaking at a short ceremony to outdoor a 21 member group to serve as election 2020's proactive peace building platform, chairman of the group, Right Reverend Professor Joseph Obi Yebuamante, advised politicians to run a clean campaign. Listen. The demon of uncultured and hate speech and lies. Just because of elections, people insult other people's character and personalities. Some of them very young men and women, small boys and girls, insulting others who are far older than them, who can even become their fathers and mothers. Sometimes one wonders who nurtured such people. This attitude is a disgrace in Ghana's politics and it must be eschewed. Do we want to teach the younger generation that politics is a dirty game? Is that what we want to leave our children with? This is a shame and a demon that must be exercised. 
Right, Reverend Professor Joseph Obriye Buamante there. Coming up on Daybreak Hits this morning, a discussion of the impact of COVID on actors in Kumasi. Also, the future after COVID, looking at investments that may lead to a real building of the industry, focusing on long-term effects of the pandemic and how to strengthen the industry. Kumewood actor Bill Asamoa is the Shanti Region President of the Ghana Actors Guild and will be live on the show today on our sister station, Hits 103.9 FM.